Hello, everybody. It is your good pal, once again, Leaf here, back with another Planet Zoo speed build. Now, this is something a little bit different. This is something totally not like part of anything else that I've been doing before. So this is actually a submission to a challenge, or contest rather, on the uh, Planet Zoo Discord. And I'll have a link to that in the description down below. It's a really awesome place with really awesome people. Uh, I'm surprised Plock hasn't banned me yet, but you know, it's, it's my time might come. <laughs> so they put out this contest, right? And it's for a ruins build. And I see everyone's doing like, oh yeah, temple here, temple there. There were actually some really awesome ones, especially from ZZ. Uh, if you guys aren't following ZZ's work, it's like insane. <laughs> but besides that point, I was like, you know, people need to like expand upon like what they consider a ruin. I also save like the original building as like a blueprint so you guys can use it as like a backdrop in all of your zoos. But yeah, I was like, you know what? What about ruined buildings and like ruined, I don't know, forests? So essentially I make this up just to destroy it once more and I put in some like girders and I make it look like, you know, it was once a building and now it's, you know, a shell. And so yeah, I have no idea why this building is out in the middle of nowhere. I have no idea why it got blown up, but it's here and it uses pretty much the entire map. I use the, um... I don't really the marshlands map from estonia that was like back in the day for like not the arctic but like maybe it was the arctic dlc i don't really know but um here i am just placing down some trees and i i like love using the blueprint system in here because you can see me to just like group everything all together and just copy and paste it all over i essentially just like you know take that and run with it so yeah just essentially moving around the marshlands i do end up putting two animals in here i put the ring-tailed lemurs and i put the mandrills in here because you know i don't really know <laughs> so i do green water because you know maybe it was like a uh, radioactive leak or something like that i get rid of all the uh greenery around like the vicinity of the building and i just plop down a lot more rocks because you know it won't look like ruins without rocks <laughs> And so, yeah, that's pretty much all I have for, like, the main part of the building, at least. Here I am just making sure that the uh, monkeys and the primates can get to the top of it. So I essentially turned this entire map into, like, a free walking zone for all of them. I thought, you know, the lore behind it would be, like, you know, the monkeys, they're getting smart, they're rebuilding society. Essentially, Planet of the Apes. This is just a Planet of the Apes build. <laughs> but yeah, I just dress up the top of the building a little bit there. I put down some bedding and I make sure that, you know, they can at least access up there. And at the time, I like, you'll see going on in a little bit later that I, you know, just do a little bit better of a job at making sure that they can get up there. I just, like, I went ham with using Frontier Blueprints. I didn't even care at this point. I just wanted to make sure that, like, it looked good all the way up. And, like, you know, that's something that some people are too afraid of doing. Like, using Blueprints is so good. And, in fact, I was, like, thinking of, like, you know, maybe a challenge where you can only make a zoo with only Blueprints. I thought that'd be a really fun idea. But, you know, we can experiment with that somewhere in the future but yeah going forward i add some ivy because you know it wouldn't be any ruins without you know natural plant growth even though all the plants have like died out around it maybe it's some like mutant uh, radioactive ivy or something but you know our mandrels seem to be doing good in there so you know you can't really I don't know. It's Planet Zoo. Who cares about real? It's, um, did you guys see the Binturong that we got? I, that's the, like, fifth Binturong joke I've made in, like, all my video recordings. I really gotta find new material, guys. Excuse me. Alright, so here we are just throwing down, like, a little trade center, throwing down some, like, stuff for animals and such. I wanted to hide it originally, but then I thought, you know, you wouldn't even be looking at that. You'd be looking at, like, the giant structure in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> so, yeah, I just throw down all my mandrels, just to make sure that their traversable area is able to get up there, because, you know, uh, these bridges, or they're actually, like, I think those are actually, like, shade structures from, uh, Frontier. I love the look of them. I think they're, like, swell. 
So I use them, and I use them a lot. And I just essentially use that to like bridge everything together. And here I am just throwing down some like last habitat things. Here I check out like where the mandrels can go, and I put down some more like you know logs and branches. And I thought you know they probably won't be able to get up there without like massive maneuvering. So I instead opt for ringtails to get all the way up there. You know like. <sighs> I don't care. I just thought it'd be fun. Like, I only cared about the building, and it turned out really good. So good, I made a speed build out of it. So I hope all of you guys enjoyed this one. And, you know, you guys have heard me talk long enough. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. It's a little bit different. It's a little bit quicker. But nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy it, please do consider a nice little subscribe by hitting that beautiful red button. It really does help out a ton. We just hit 1k and you know, I'm really gunning for that 2k coming up really soon. All right. So I'll see you guys in the next one and have a wonderful day. Take care.